Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So while I was working on that other video about ESP32 multitasking in microblocks, I was checking out these activity cards here. They're basically little projects that you can work on with microblocks. And one of them was very interesting to me. It's this Mozilla IoT. And you can actually build this web thing gateway on Raspberry Pi. So let's check out the Mozilla IoT website here. Again, look down in the description of this video for all these links. So this web things framework is going to let you build your own home automation system and integrate other devices onto your network. And you actually get to create your own Mozilla IoT console online so that you can manage your web things remotely through the internet. So here you can build your own web things gateway. Obviously we're going to use Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download here. We'll save that file. And then there's also the getting started guide. And we're going to work through this in its entirety so that we'll have our web things gateway completed. So in future videos, we'll look to add other home automation devices to our Mozilla web things console. Okay, so you can see here we've downloaded that gateway image and we're going to use Bellina Etcher to burn that onto our SD card. There we go. We select that zip file, open it, and let's flash it. This is going to take some time, so we're just going to go ahead and pause right now. Okay, so it's finished flashing, and now it's going to do its validating, and that takes almost as long as the flashing. So we're going to pause, and we'll be right back again. Okay, so the validating is just finishing there, and it's unmounting that SD card. So let's just look back at our checklist here. We've downloaded the image. We've flashed the image. Obviously, the next step is booting the Raspberry Pi. There's that formatted SD card there. Putting that in the slot. And we're ready to power up the board. So our next step is connecting Wi-Fi. So we're going to do that on our phone. WebThings Gateway just popped up. We're going to go ahead and connect to that. Okay, so I'm going to sign into the WebThings Gateway. Okay, so now we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I did try setting up the Wi-Fi while connected to the WebThings gateway using my phone, but I never got the opportunity to put my password in and it would just kick me back out after a while. Oh, I just got booted out somehow. So I used my tablet just to make sure the problem wasn't with my phone and you see here I can select the network while connected to the WebThings gateway but I can't put the password in and I just get tossed back out after a while. We've gone ahead and hardwired it here. You can connect the Raspberry Pi to your homework, home network using an ethernet cable and it will attempt to get an IP address from your router and you can try connecting to HTTP gateway dot local. Well, let's see if that works. While we're waiting for, oh, 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 oh here it comes. No, I thought it was so close. See if we can find it in DHCP on the router. We're going to give it a try anyway. Gateway. I bet that's it. Okay. Well, there we go. We're going to go ahead here. Let's see what the instructions say. To continue setting up the gateway, right? You're going to choose a subdomain and enter an email address. We're just going to go ahead and uh, register our gateway here. Nobody take Chitoku Tech, right? Okay, create. Hoping we can go back into the gateway and establish uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, success. Okay, so we're just logging into our WebThings gateway for the first time, establishing the first user here with a username, email address, and a password. Settings, network. Okay, I'm gonna configure Wi-Fi now. I can do that. So we're hardwired. Ah, okay, there we go. 
Yeah, it's going to let me uh, put the password in now. Okay, Wi-Fi is connected. So now we can unplug that. Yeah, I, I don't want to be hardwired. I'm happy. So actually, right now, we're ready to add devices. Right here, you see this is a free DNS name under Mozilla IoT org, so I can access this console anywhere from the internet. So that's pretty cool. So here we've got a lot of things we can do through here. Floor plans, rules. There's a lot to explore now. So what I want to do next is add this Wi-Fi outlet to my WebThings gateway. And that's going to get us started in our home automation with Mozilla Internet of Things. All right. Thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.